Welcome to Global Entrepreneurship Week 2021, where through national campaigns, 200 nations will be celebrating the entrepreneurial spirit and encouraging more of their citizens to consider this path of indeed entrepreneurship. You know, with almost all net new jobs in our economies coming from new and young firms, five years or less, the need for our societies to have more entrepreneurs has never been more important. We need more citizens helping to test ideas, figure out better ways of doing things and creating ventures and by virtue of that, new job opportunities for their fellow citizens. So what happens during Global Entrepreneurship Week? Well, we have celebrity entrepreneurs like Richard Branson uh, inspiring a, a new generation of entrepreneurs. We have major organizations in our field like Endeavor running national campaigns. We have uh, institutions and academics releasing analysis and research uh, such as OECD uh, and indeed we have corporations such as our new corporate sponsor FedEx who's making it possible for communities that have been historically underrepresented in this great experiment and pioneering spirit to join the effort and to be part of the great exciting world um, of entrepreneurship. We've also Frankly, across the world, we've got hundreds of thousands of partners who are just hosting activities uh, and do community building, uh, building up interest in more citizens engaging throughout the year in being part of the solution to a problem in part of a new venture. You know, when we first conceived this idea with the Ewing Marion Coffin Foundation in 2008, uh, it was a different time. We actually had a different mission. Our mission was to show the world that Silicon Valley in the United States uh, did not have a monopoly on entrepreneurship. We set about to say, why isn't this possibility uh, available to all people around the world? And we set to uh, inspire more people to encourage their communities uh, and the individuals in those communities to be doers, uh, risk takers uh, and dreamers like we were in the United States. Of course, we have uh, faced different problems in those days. In those days, we encountered, for example, uh, I might meet with a government uh, who was very warm and friendly about us coming and doing a campaign. But when we got into the communities, uh, we found a lot of people waiting for permission to do something, frankly, an absence of initiative in those days. Uh, and then sometimes we met gloriously innovative communities at the grassroots level, but super uh, skeptical governments and cynical governments uh, about what this was all about. But I'm pleased to report now that entrepreneurship is live and well. The state of entrepreneurship is strong and we have 200 nations around the world embracing the power of their own citizens to figure out new ways of doing things to create new economic value and to prove not just to improve not just their own lives but also the lives of their own fellow citizens and perhaps uh, as evidence of this uh, a few days ago on the eve of global entrepreneurship week uh, we launched the global startup ecosystem report made possible through the extraordinarily talented team at Startup Genome. There's so much data in this to tell this story, but allow me to point out a couple of things. I mean, the, the first of all, the amount of money that these ecosystems are generating has more than doubled in four years to $4 billion. Secondly, I think what's remarkable, uh, it's a measure that I'm a little less personally enthusiastic about, but for some reason, economies love to look at their performance based upon whether they've created unicorns. Uh, a very important measure to some. Did we actually manage to get a company that hit that billion dollar mark? And then, interestingly enough, in 2020, 91 of those 100 ecosystems created at least one unicorn. This is a remarkable change. What's even more remarkable is a 55% increase in one year in uh, among the 100 top emerging ecosystems um, that uh, was able to generate wealth. I mean, we had $540 billion of ecosystem value generated in 2020. As I said, that's a 55% increase uh, from previous years. So we had a global pandemic and, and what do we see? 
we see rising rates of new form, firm formation across the planet. You know, obviously GW cannot take credit for this, but I will say the communities that have celebrated and engaged in GW over the past decade and have been the resilient and important cornerstones uh, of its emergence. So what do we do? Can we declare set success and go home? Well, of course not. Uh, the time has never been more important for us to be inspiring more people to become entrepreneurs uh, in our nations. Why is this? Well, these times especially, we're dealing with some new dimensions. And it's not just that entrepreneurs uh, are optimists who see the glass half full. It's the fact they are natural leaders for these times. And let me tell you why. For so many of us, we have so much anxiety. We're worried about our health. We're worried about whether or not our job is going to be secure further down the road. If there's so much change going on, what does that mean? Maybe if you work for a government, you're less worried about it. But for most people, if they work for a smaller institution, it might not be there next year. Everything is changing. And then we worry about really big, important problems like, is our planet heating up? And if so, what are we going to do about that? Well, entrepreneurs, interestingly enough, thrive on these challenges. You know, entrepreneurs look at disruption, especially when it's very rapid like this. And they say, wow, someone just hit the reset button. Someone just changed all the rules. Someone just made it possible. Now everything is possible. And that I can come up with hundreds of new, not just challenges, but an infinite number of solutions to address those challenges. And they look at it around the fact that it is indeed a very changed global landscape. You know, of all the trends that we read about in the popular press around why is the world different in a post-pandemic world, you know, one of the biggest ones is surely the interconnectivity that's rapidly on the rise across national borders, sometimes known as the Zoom effect. It's really changing the world overnight. Millions of people suddenly trust digital video communications. We all did that previously, but it was really a kind of extra thing. It wasn't that it was a substitute for breaking bread with people in another place. Now people are trusting it as a primary way of getting things done. It's an acceptable substitute and millions of actions are now happening across national borders that of course are porous to innovation and ideas and problems. You know, I, I, I'll give you one example. Uh, at the Global Entrepreneurship Network, we're very proud. We have affiliate operations in most countries around the world, and we have 14 work streams, everything from public policy and research to startup programs. But one of the areas we're active in is in early stage investing. And indeed, we have something called the Global Business Angels Network, which is a community of uh, angel investor networks around the world. And when they reported to us previously, it was interesting. We discovered that really most local, most investing with, at the early stage was being done locally. It was mostly face to face. It was with in communities where you could do some background checks on whether or not you wanted to invest in this person, this idea or this new company, because you could talk to people in the community and they would know what was going on. That's dramatically changed. You know, in the post pandemic world, we're getting reports that 80% of the investor interest in those local startups in the community is coming from overseas. It seems to be completely unknown whether or not the person on Zoom is, you know, around the corner or on the other side of the globe. And that has dramatically opened up the sharing of, of ideas, of the sharing of opportunity and the ability of someone with a great idea in a very poor country in the world to suddenly have someone see the value in that, to see that golden nugget to see an opportunity. I could give you a thousand other examples, but I can tell you everything has changed. And the message is that entrepreneurs are on it. This is why we're seeing these increasing rates of new firm formation. So during Global Entrepreneurship Week, we organize things around, uh, you know, important pillars of activities. You know, we have innovation uh, and, and entrepreneurship uh, education. We have ecosystems and we have public policy. And perhaps most importantly of all, we have inclusion. The importance not just of having a diverse number of people invited to your party, but a diverse number of people actually dancing on the floor. Very important part of what we try to do at Gen Global. 
But you know, uh, there are big problems being that need to be addressed. And so while we have these great pillars of, of, of activity, I mean, it's no accident, for example, uh, that GW is one week earlier this year to align with COP26, the Global Climate Change Summit, where we have live GW presence with entrepreneurs from around the world trying to look at demonstrating how they're going to actually act on some of these great uh, uh, statements made by our world leaders about what we need to do uh, in, for our planet. And we're also going to see a, a whole range of other major uh, global challenges addressed during Global Entrepreneurship Week. But at the end of the day, the most common thing for us to mention to you is that this is going to be about the entrepreneurs. You know, entrepreneurs, as we know, are the leaders. They're the people that we are all working for. We're just the enablers. We're the builders. Uh, we're sometimes known in Brad Feld's very early writings as being the feeders to the entrepreneurs. And that's great. So this week, Global Entrepreneurship Week, will be about celebrating these entrepreneurs. And so whether or not it's about uh, cities and towns like Kansas City, which has more than 100 events happening celebrating entrepreneurs, or whether or not it's about uh, the Entrepreneurship World Cup, and in a few hours I will be announcing that out of 100,000 entrants from 200 countries, we have selected the top 25 and this top 25 will be unveiled after months of work uh, to the world from different countries around the world and in different industries as exemplary examples of what's happening, what can be done when you build a team and you test an idea and you find a way to address a problem. It is about these entrepreneurs and their stories that, as far as I'm concerned, is what we need to be concentrating. So as we go about this work, We'll be working to make sure that we reach out to the historically underrepresented groups uh, in this story. Um, and we'll be working uh, to make it possible that we have a global response to what was indeed a pandemic that, alas, should have had a global response that never got one. We'll be working through Global Entrepreneurship Week to reset, reboot, uh, rebuild and regenerate uh, our economies. We'll be looking to do this with our entrepreneurs in the lead and we'll be looking to make sure that it's they are the ones that we feel confident can help lead us and innovate our way uh, out of this pandemic. So I want to thank everybody that's involved in this, particularly uh, our national hosts around the world who work tirelessly, many of them on a volunteer basis, to organize national campaigns to rally their cities, to the thousands of partners uh, that have hosted events and activities on their behalf. Uh, and indeed, I want to pay a special thanks to the extraordinary hardworking staff of Gen Global who put so much of their heart and soul into this campaign to really uh, leverage the opportunity we see here, which is to inspire more people to come to the party so throughout the year we can work with them in helping them to realize that dream. And if you want to get involved, I hope You'll find an event at uh, uh, gew.co.co, uh, or if you can't find what you're looking for, join us on social media at hashtag GEW2021. Happy Global Entrepreneurship Week.